I've been hunting in the 100K collection and a nice stack of books showed up from CGC. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at both. Without any further ado, let's take a look at the books. And the first ones that I'm gonna show you are all the same. They're three copies of X-Men issue number 53. And this is the first full appearance of Onslaught. I will tell you that I found these three copies over the period of about a month. I actually went looking for these books at one point and could not find them when I was hunting for them. And I found these three copies as I was looking for something else in the collection. So maybe maybe there's something to be said for that. Uh, next up, we have a little Star Wars action. This is Knights of the Old Republic issue number six. And I believe that there are a couple of first appearances or cameo appearances in this one, including a Mandalorian Crusader. And there is a ton of Star Wars books in the collection. So whenever something gets hot related to Star Wars, I automatically go look for it. And I was able to find that. Speaking of hot, I was able to find, I wanna say maybe three copies of this. This is Heir to the Empire issue number one, and I do believe that this is the first full appearance of Admiral Thrawn, uh, and there's some rumors about him potentially appearing in a Disney Plus show, so we'll see whether those rumors pan out. I may have sent off one copy of this to CGC already, but this was another copy that was located and has literally been sitting on the shelf for a little while now, and I thought I would go ahead and record this video and include it. Next up uh, is Dark Horse Presents issue number 36. And this is the first battle between the aliens and the, uh, the predators. And so this again is issue number 36. This is the regular cover. There is also a variant version as well. And I was able to find two copies of that. I will tell you that there's also a lot of Dark Horse in this uh, in the collection. I found, found multiple copies of those two books that I just showed you a second ago. Um, this is another book. And I think I have, what, three copies? Three copies of this. I went hunting for this one as well. At one point, uh, I, I got this, this thought around looking for characters that have been Robin. And, and that prompted me to go to the collection to find a couple of books and this is one of the ones that I found uh, this is actually the first appearance of Stephanie Brown who goes on to become Robin at a later date and this is Detective Comics issue number 647 and uh, three copies of that definitely a cool cover right there and again uh, really cool to have found that there are some rumors about uh, Stephanie Brown appearing in a Batman related uh, show as well. So it's definitely a theme to what I've been able to find in the collection. Uh, next up is uh, Marvel Superheroes. This is the fall book from 1992. And this is the chronological first appearance of Rogue right there. This book uh, doesn't have a, a tremendous amount of value, but is definitely a really cool book. And I've been able to find, I think, four or five copies of this in the 100k collection so definitely a cool book to find uh next up is marvel spotlight on captain universe issue number nine and this is the first appearance of the second captain universe i have not read this book but i just thought it was a really cool cover and and maybe i'll uh flip through it and give it a read but i wanted to show that one uh next up we have some rocket raccoon this is issue number four i think i found uh, the entire miniseries, one through four. Most recently, I found another copy of issue four, so I wanted to show that. And then last, but certainly not least, is some Elf Quest. Um, this is issue number six. I also found a couple of copies of issue number one. Unfortunately, both of the copies that I found actually had some rust on them, uh, but still really cool books to have found in the collection. Next up, let's go ahead and transition to looking at some of the CGC books that showed up. I will tell you, I've already sold one of the the books from uh, from what I'm about to show you, but I will take some time to show you the other books that are here because they are also cool. First up, we have a uh, Brian Bolin cover, and that is why I sent the Sam Brian Bolin, uh, really talented DC artist. Uh, this is Wonder Woman issue number 72. This book came back with white pages, and yes, this is also from the 100K collection, a book that I found in the collection, sent off to CGC to have graded. So we came back with a 
and uh, also came back with a 9.6 as well. Also with White Page is definitely a classic uh, Brian Bowler cover. I want to say that I've sent in a couple of his other books as well. They are not in this box, but I think that they are still at CGC and will make their way back at some point. Uh, speaking of hot stuff, this is Sandman issue number four. This book came back at 9.6 with White Pages. Definitely looking forward to seeing what Netflix does with the Sandman series that they are going to be kicking off here, I think, relatively soon. Uh, here is another copy of Sandman issue number four, also a 9.6. I was hopeful to get uh, issues one through four all in 9.8 wasn't quite luck lucky enough to get that but you know a couple of 9.6s definitely are, are nothing to uh to frown upon uh here is marvel spotlight issue number six this is the origin and first comic book appearance of the star lord just a really cool book to have found in the 100k collection had to send it in i am not surprised by the grade on this one at all but definitely a cool book to have um a lot of these i will tell you are either going to be on reggiecollects.com for sale or put into uh, the Swolger supply box, which will be offered up here relatively soon as well. Next up is uh, Johnny Quest, issue number five. Just a really cool Dave Stevens cover right there. I've been lucky enough to uh, get a, several high-grade copies of this book. I have a 9.8. I think I had a 9.6 and now a 9.4. And then I think I have one more raw copy that is not worthy to send in to CGC, but definitely a cool book. Uh, before we wrap up, go back to some Star Wars action here. Uh, this is Star Wars issue number 68. Classic, classic Mandalorian cover right there. Absolutely love this gorgeous yellow cover. Uh, there's something about this one that just speaks to me. I was only able to find one copy of this in the collection, sent it in. This one is definitely staying in the PC because I just I just love love that cover right there. I, I dig the Mandalorian show. Boba Fett was okay, but I dig the Mandalorian show for certain, but just a cool book. So with that, we are gonna wrap this video up. I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment behind. And if you need to reach out to me for some reason, feel free to do so on Instagram at Reggie Collects. Take care. Mm -hmm.